Hi, my name is Heather and today I'm going to show you how to make a spread for a children's book for Amazon KDP in Procreate. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure we have the correct size for our spread. So you can go to the Kindle Direct Publishing Help page, set trim size bleed and margins, scroll down to where it says examples of page size with and without bleed. Click on that and then you can find your book size on the left. For this example, I'm going to be doing the 8.25 by 8.25 because that's the size that I did my children's book in. So then you can go all the way to the right and the size for one page for this is 8.375 by 8.5. This accounts for having a little bit of extra art around the edges of the page so that it can be trimmed off. But this is the size for one page, so the size for two pages is going to be this first number times two because this is the width, 8.375. So the new width is going to be 8.375 times 2, 16.75. So this is going to be the width of our spread. And then the height is going to be the same as the height of a single page, which is 8.5. Now that we know the size for the spread, we can go ahead and create the file. So I'm going to press the plus sign up here to add a new file. And then I'm going to do the new canvas button here that adds a new size. We want our size to be in inches, so you can go ahead and click inches at the bottom there. And then we want the width to be 16.75, as we saw when we did our math. And then for the height, we want it to be 8.5. And the DPI is at 300, so that's good. And we can do create. And this is going to be our spread right here. So first we can set up our guides so that we know where the bleed is gonna be and what could possibly get trimmed off. So I'll go to my layers and let's name this layer guides. And then I'll change the color to, I don't know, maybe blue is good. I'm just gonna get a basic pen, click the wrench, go to canvas, drawing guide, and turn that on and then go to edit drawing guide and we want our grid to be an eighth of an inch so we know where to put our guides since our trim size is an eighth of an inch. So an eighth of an inch in a 300 DPI file is going to be about 38 pixels. So you take your grid size and change it to 38. And you can see they're itty bitty, but that's okay. We're not gonna have it on the whole time. So just click done and then you wanna zoom in. One of these squares of the grid is going to be 38 pixels. So just go to one square and you can draw your line. And it probably won't be perfect because the grid doesn't always start right on the edge, but that's okay as long as it's roughly correct. Like as you can see, this one's gonna be a little more than an eighth of an inch. But then once you get that one there, you can kind of eyeball the other ones because like this one is very off, but that's about a half of the grid there. So if I just go about a half of a grid down, then that's about a full square right there. And this is the only way that I've really found to make guides. So if you were in any of the Adobe products, you could just create a guide that was an eighth of an inch down the page. But I have not found a way to do that in Procreate. So go ahead and do that for all four of your sites. Now I'm all done making my grid, so I'm gonna go to the wrench and go to edit drawing guide, and we just want a line going down the middle so that we know where the middle is. So let's just turn the grid size all the way up, and that'll give us a cross section so that we have one going right down the middle and then click done and then you can just go and trace over that one. So now if I turn the drawing guide off 
then you can see I have my eighth of an inch around the edges here and then my line going right down the middle which hopefully you can see on the camera there's a closer up version of it and then when we do our art we're just going to create a new layer for that or however many layers you want but make sure you put the guides layer on the top so you'll be able to see them I already have some art drawn so I'm just gonna drop it in so I'm going to go to the wrench and I'm gonna do add and insert a photo and this is my image I have it's a little bit off for the size so I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so that it covers the whole thing and that's pretty good and then I will just click that arrow and if I look around the edges you can see the bunny tail is inside of the trim although it's possible it could get a little bit trimmed off but it's not like super important so that's okay and everything else is inside the trim lines and we just have this little part of the bear here but that's okay if that gets trimmed off and the next thing we can do is add some text I won't go as detailed into this because I did already do the other tutorial which is for a single page in Procreate so you can always look over that one for the really detailed instructions on the text but I will just add some really quick in here so I'm going to click the wrench and do add and then I'm going to do add text and then I'll put this wherever I want it to be I'll click the keyboard and then I'll add my text and then I always like to click away so that you're not inside the text box anymore and then I'll go to the layer and click on it and do edit text then I can click these two little letter A's here and then it'll bring up this whole design part right here and if you want you can also rotate your iPad and that'll just make it a little bit easier to work with I'm going to change my font and then I'm going to go to design and I can mess around with the size, the letting, which is the line spacing, the alignment, and I'll also change the color up here. And then I'll just repeat that for the rest of the page. Now I've finished adding all my text, so the layout is done. The last step is we're going to save out the left half as a single page and the right half as a single page. First, let's turn off our guides. So I'm going to go to my layers and uncheck the guides. Now my guides are off and I'm going to go ahead and save this out because we are going to have to crop it in order to get the two halves and I don't want to risk cropping this file with my layout and everything and lose everything I've done. So this is how I like to do it. I'm going to click the wrench and do share and I'll share it as a JPEG and I'll do save image. So let's go back to our gallery. We have our editable layout right here and we're going to add those JPEGs which are what we're going to use for our final files. So go ahead and click photo here and you can grab the first one that has the text on it and this is the JPEG that we saved out you can check it by going to the layers palette and make sure it's just all on one layer. So now let's go to the wrench and we're going to go to crop and resize. And let's go to settings and we want to set this to the size of a single page in our book. So let's click on the dimensions here and we want to change it to inches. And from looking up the size of our single page before it was 8.3 seven five inches and the height would be 8.5 the DPI we want it to be 300 and do snapping so we have snapping on and then that way this will snap all the way to the left because we want it to be the left page and we want it to be perfectly against the left edge and then go to settings again and just double check so we want 8.375 as the width and this is 8.37 sometimes it might be a little bit different because of the pixels but that's okay and then the height is 8.5 so we can click done and we can go ahead and save this out so you can click the wrench 
and do share. You can choose JPEG and then click save image. And then let's go back to gallery. We're going to click photo again and we're gonna import that same one that has the whole spread. And now we're just gonna do the same thing we did before, but we're gonna keep the right side. So we're going to click the wrench and we'll go to canvas, crop and resize, settings, and we want to change this to inches. The width is going to be 8.375 and the height is going to be 8.5, 300 DPI, and we want snapping on. And then go ahead and make this the height of the whole thing and you want to pull it over all the way to the right and make sure it snaps. And then just click on settings again just to double check that it's still the same thing. So 8.37 and 8.5 and 300 DPI and now we'll do done. And then we'll save this out as a JPEG. And those are done. So there's our two pages that together will come together and make a spread. So I hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for the next video in the series where we will take all of these JPEGs and put them together into a single PDF that you can upload to Amazon KDP. If you have any questions, as always, let me know in the comments or you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.